Hello guys, today's project is controlling LED lights using a sound sensor. In this project we are going to use an Arduino, some resistors to control the, the, the power that is going through the LEDs, the LED lights, the breadboard, a couple of jumper wires and a sound sensor. And let's go ahead and put this thing together. The first thing that we want to put on the broadboard are the LED lights. What we want to do is to make sure that we put the negative or the shorter leg onto the into the negative rail of the breadboard, like so. Right, the next step is to put the resistors in line with the LED lights to reduce the current going through the LED lights. Just make sure when you're putting the resistors that they go over the center groove that separates the pins on this side and the other side. All right, the next thing that we want to put are the jumper wires to connect the LED to the LEDs to the Arduino itself. The first wire that we want to do put on is the one that comes from the GND ground on the Arduino to the negative rail of the breadboard. And then we are going to put wires that are connecting all the LEDs to the breadboard. Right, for this project we are going to be using digital pin number 8 through 12. Right, this completes the hookup for the LED. Now lights. we are going to wire the sensor that we are going to use for controlling the LED lights. This is a sound sensor. It comes with four pins. The first pin will be the analog output pin, output pin. The second pin will be the GND or ground pin. The third pin will be the positive or five volt pin. The last pin will be the digital output pin. I found it easier to put in the wires on the breadboard first before inserting the sensor. So that's what I'm going to do in this case. Right, after doing that, then I will put in the sensor, lining it up with the wires that are already on the board. Right. So the first pin, which is the analog pin, will go to A0 on the Arduino. The second pin which is our ground pin will go on the negative rail of the breadboard the third pin which is our plus or positive wire is going to go on to the five volts on the arduino the last pin which is our digital output pin will go to pin number two on the arduino this completes the wiring so the next step that you want to do is to go on to my website and download the code for the Arduino for this particular project. After you've downloaded the Arduino, the code onto your Arduino, now you will need power, some form of power, external power. You can use a nine volt battery or you can also use your laptop or, or desktop computer, like so. Then finally, now that's the, the exciting part, we are going to use a song to turn our LED lights on and off. They are going to be responding to the beat. And this is how it will look like when you start playing your song.
This is how you use a sound sensor to control your LED lights. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and we'll bring you another project in a few days. Have a good afternoon.